Hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing an Ipsy unboxing. You guys saw one of my previous videos where I was talking about Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona actually came in my Ipsy glam for this month, which I was so excited. So if you sign up to the subscription, there's gonna be three subscriptions now. So there is the glam bag, which is the little tiny Ipsy original one. And then there is Boxy Charm, which is Ipsy now. So this would be like the Boxy Charm, but it says Ipsy on it, which is kind of funny. I wonder if they should like write BoxyCharm somewhere on the box. But anyways, it says Ipsy, but it's BoxyCharm. And then there's the Icon box. They actually say it all three here. And the Icon is a quarterly subscription where they give you like the big stuff. And that's kind of like when Boxy look, BoxyCharm used to do like the Lux boxes. That's what Icon is. So Ipsy's like rebranding and doing same thing as BoxyCharm. They bought each other out. Ipsy bought BoxyCharm. Now they're like one big thing. So FYI. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that came in the July boxes. I'll show you guys what came in the Ipsy bag versus the glam bag and just give you guys a rundown of everything and what I think of it. And if you are interested in signing up to Ipsy, it has different subscriptions. It also has merged now with BoxyCharm, which is really cool. So there's no more BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is Ipsy. And let's jump into the big one first, BoxyCharm first, because this is the exciting one. The first thing in here was this. So this is the Faye palette from Natasha Denona, which is really, really cool that a Natasha Denona product is in Ipsy. I just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with Natasha Denona. So anytime I see stuff of hers, I'm like, this is incredible. I did do this eye look. If you want to see me trying this for the first time, I will link the video. I actually did a Natasha Denona update where I compared this to her original palettes because every one of these shades is actually a repeat from some of her other palettes, which are her bigger palettes. So I did one side of the eye using this palette, the other side using the original palettes. If you want to see that entire video to kind of get an idea if you want this um, palette or if you have some of her other palettes, jump to that one. But anyways, so the first thing in here was that, which I think that was kind of like the cake of the box, to be honest, because the other stuff we have in here is from Wing Cam, and it is a clear brow gel, which, you know, I love brow gels, and I'm always looking for a good one. Ooh, and I like the case of this, so it looks just like this. Wing Cam. Huh, very interesting. Not sure. Not sure, brow gels are kind of hard, you know, cause you just never know. I have to try this one out a few times, but I do like clear brow gels, especially like to bring up the volume here. Um, the next thing that we got in here was a lip and cheek multi-stick. And this is from Lucky Chick. Never heard of this brand. It looks like this. Have you guys heard of this? If you guys, these are the swatches. This is what the Faye palette looks like from Natasha Denona. It's on my arm. I should probably take it off already. But anyways, so this is what it looks like. Interesting. So how weird. It almost like looks like it has multicolors in it. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's like a marbleized one. I don't know if that is supposed to be like that. But it's really interesting. Kind of like reminds me of what Milk Makeup does with their sticks that they're kind of like multi-use. But got one of those. Then here, this is from Vitamin... Oh, Rodeo Beauty. So this is a brightening cleanser. Brighten and renew what? Oh, your face. Wake up call for your skin. That's actually cool. It's called the Vite C. So I actually think it's really important to use some vitamin C in your skincare. And I've been trying to incorporate vitamin C somehow. Maybe I'll start trying to use this. But Rodeo Beauty is pretty known. I think that this brand is kind of like a makeup artist brand, right? I've heard it very often. And then finally, the last thing in here is from Verb. Ghost Exfoliating Sculpt Nectar. What is that? Great hair starts with a sculpt. Ah, so this is for your sculpt. So this is an exfoliator for your sculpt from a brand called Verb, which I've never heard of. So from this box, I mean, I can't really judge too much because I didn't try on all the stuff because I did this other video for Natasha Denona. The This one interests me. The brow gel interests me. It's pretty cool to have a multi-stick and of course the Natasha Denona palette is the icing on the cake. Do I think it was an amazing box? I think it was an okay box, but I definitely think the Natasha Denona one kind of just like bumped it up there. So maybe they didn't put as many amazing things because they knew everybody was gonna want it for Natasha. That we got. So then let's jump into glam. So let's jump into the glam bag. So the glam bag is the one that you get sample size products. 
typically, which I don't know, this doesn't look sample size to me, but this is from e.l.f. So I love e.l.f. products. This is the Power Grip Primer. I do have their primers and I do love their primers. So this, ah, this is actually a really good product. That's a big sample, right? You would think that that wouldn't be in here, but it is. Um, the other thing that's here is from Liquid Coal. This also doesn't look like a sample to me. From Seraphine Cosmetics, and it is like a black li liquid liner. Then we have here a brush, and this is the blending brush. It's a B9, and it's from Toy. It's from Toy Factory. Looks like this. Actually, that's really cute. It's like psychedelic. I need to see this brush. <laughs> Lexi loves, my daughter loves everything that has to do with a rainbow. So this like rainbowy, oh my God, look at this brush. This is a cool brush. That literally looks like a unicorn horn. <gasps> oh my God, I love this brush. What am I going to use it for? I don't know, but I think I need to use this for something. Well, <laughs> should I use it for my eyes? Yeah. But I also think I need to use it for some type of decoration. That is the coolest. Look at that brush. Okay, love that. Okay, so then we have from Lottie London, this really cute four piece eyeshadow set. Really, really nice colors. I mean, these are like everyday easy peasy colors. And then the last thing is we have a Mud Sky Vitamin A Booster, a clay mask. I think that this little mini bag was really good. I actually think like, can I say it was better? I can't really say it was better because that other one had a Natasha Denona palette in it, which is like, super great but I mean for being a sample size very inexpensive little subscription I think they gave you really good products this month so I think July for Ipsy Glam and I also think for BoxyCharm was a very successful month um hoping that it continues on this path like I've been hoping that this is going to be a really really awesome subscription box because it has the potential to go there now because it's both BoxyCharm and Ipsy so anyways I think it was a good month what did you guys think did you guys sign up to this do you have this box are you excited I want to know your comments down below I do know you guys like for me to try on some of the products sometimes but today since I already had done this look for the Natasha Denona video I kind of didn't have the time to put on everything from scratch but but anyways but either way i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one bye